congratulations on on winning your first playoff series. How's that feel? Uh, very good. You know, especially after the last two years where we had the first round exit, this, it was an amazing feeling yesterday to to finally advance to the second round. Yeah, it was an ama amazing feeling back back home here uh, watching you guys. Uh, how was the ride home last night? Were you guys celebrating the whole way? Uh, yeah, you know, it was obviously a very good mood. Um, you know, in the locker room, the, the atmosphere was really good. You know, it just it felt surreal. Um, it was also like a crazy scene because at the very end, Bogey had like a very wide open shot. You know, it, it kind of felt like slow motion. So once that shot was missed, everybody was just super relieved. Finally, second round, we celebrated the home with the whole way home, basically. Yeah, great play drawn up there by by Quinn Snyder to get Bogdanovich a, a clear look. What was going through your mind as, as he really got, got wide open there at the three-point line? Uh, well, our number one goal was to take away any three. Um, you know, Spence did a great job on contesting it, making dribble and, and, and take that shot, but it was still wide open. I was directly under the basket, so as soon as he released his hand, you know, I, I obviously know he's a great shooter and I see him shoot the ball, I was like, Oh no, he's wide open. But as it released the hand, I could see it was kind of off. You know, so I was just praying for no curveballs there, and then hoping that <laughs> that it doesn't go in. It's Maxi Kleba with us here in the G Bag Nation on 105.3 The Fan. Maxi, what's uh, what's changed for you, man? It was uh, it was kind of a little bit of little bit of offensive struggles there for you heading into the playoffs, and then playoff time shows up, and you're a different animal from the three point line, playing with confidence. What changed for you? Uh, I mean, I had a couple of days of rest. I obviously didn't feel 100% with my ankle. I didn't get to go into the gym and shoot as much as I wanted to. But, you know, sooner or later, you, you're going to figure it out because, uh, you know, you put so much work into it and you keep shooting. So that's basically what I did. And, you know, that game, it just clicked and it couldn't have been a better timing for me. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm not mad about it at all. You know, if I, if I struggle the entire season like that and come out in a playoff like that, I'd take it any time. How tough did it get for you when the ball wasn't going in? Were you, were you able to stay confident? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, I still my, my goal is still to be on the court, space the floor, you know, because I'm considered a shooter, so you can get hot any time. So I, I still did my job. Um, obviously, you want to see the, goal, uh, the ball go in, but, um, you know, I take the, the shot the same way because I have to. This is, like, part of my job when I'm on the court. So, you know, even if the ball is not going in, that's the right play to do. Maxi, what's that feeling like for you? I mean, that, that night must have been special when you made the 8-3, you know, the home crowd's going absolutely crazy for you. Is it is it almost a surreal moment, an out-of-body-like experience for you when things are just going right and it's almost like you can't miss? Yeah, so I, I never made eight three-pointers in my professional career ever, I think. So, um, you know, as soon as I made like four and then all of a sudden five, some at some point I just let the ball fly and I didn't even think about it at all and the ball just went in it was was absolutely nuts you know it got so loud in the crowd my teammates were so hyped for me you know because obviously they were there while I was uh, sh uh, struggling with my shooting too um, so it was just like it was surreal it felt really good obviously very much needed for us to get that win too um, so overall it was just like a great experience for me. Max Kleba with us here on 105.3 The Fan after the Mavs' big win yesterday over the Suns to advance the second round. You know, there was a lot made in the series about the, the challenges that Utah presented along the boards, and, and certainly they did win the rebound battle for the most part of the series, but how challenging was that for you guys, and what was Coach Kidd talking to you guys about in terms of getting those second-chance opportunities and trying to win some of those battles in the offensive and defensive glass? Yeah, so we knew that they were always in the big positions taller than us, um, we, we knew that rebounding has to be like a team effort thing. It's, it's not just a one-man thing. Just like, um, you know, a lot of times other players have to help other players to stop certain star players from opponents. It's the same with rebounding. We had to, like, collectively as a team come together and do that. But the fact that we were smaller helped us, on the other hand, to, like, like go with pace, um, you know, attack the basket early, and, and they struggled with that. So, you know, it, it had, like, positives and negatives. But obviously it was a fight down under the basket, and I think we did a better job after the first couple of games. Okay, we're live here at Bar Louie, the shops at Park Lane, and Maxi Kleba is on the line with us. Okay, how about the defensive side? You know, Utah was just outstanding on the season from the three-point shooting, but you guys kept them down all series long. Did you know that you could be this effective on, on defense a, as a team with, with pretty much the same players that had struggled the last couple years? Yeah, um, you know, so we had our defensive schemes. We had a couple of new players that are great on defense, too, and, you know, I think 
the big thing for us was that everybody just trusted the system. You know, even though maybe you get beat, you know, you have your help in, the, on, uh, in your back. You know, everybody was just helping each other out. And Utah was the number one offense in the NBA. So for us doing that um, obviously means a lot. And, and I think that just shows how much trust we have in each other and, and how much we got our backs. And uh, I think we, we showed that the entire first uh, series in, in this playoffs here. Maxi, uh, so you guys had a decent amount of playoff experience yourself and the guys on the team, but a lot of it was bubble playoff experience, no crowds. Last year, limited capacity crowds. How much of a different was it? Difference was it going into Utah, that playoff environment? Did it feel much different to you than maybe the previous two playoffs? Yeah, 100%. And, uh, you know, Utah is, is a very tough place to, to play. The fans are really loud, um, especially when they have a run. You really got to make sure as a team that you stay connected, that you don't lose your composure and you stay calm because you know you easily tend to lose your head when when they get loud yesterday they had a after we made a run they had another eight zero run or something like that and you know it was it was so loud and and it might intimidate you so you just got to be prepared as a team and as a player that this will come and it's definitely a diff different atmosphere than what it was when we had like the, the playoffs and the bubble bubble playoffs yeah What's it say about this team's development that you go on the road and close out a series in an environment like that? I mean, it, I think it shows growth, you know, like we've, we've been there before. Um, you know, last year was very disappointing, but I think everybody just showed like we wanted it so badly. Um, obviously, we have a team um, led by Luca and now JB, who's like really balling big time for us. And uh, it shows just growth as a team. And as I said, like the biggest thing is like the trust, because I think we, especially on defense, did a really great job against Utah. Maxie, you know, I, I wonder about that because everyone talks about Utah and how tough and hostile an environment it is, especially in the playoffs. Did you notice that? I mean, did it live up to, to the hype that, that Utah is as a home crowd? Or did you guys start to feel pretty comfortable playing in Utah? Yeah, I mean, it definitely lived up to the expectations of what people say about Utah. You know, it's, it's a very tough environment to play in. Um, but, you know, it was even nicer for us to get the win yesterday and, and kind of make them quiet. Um, you know, after this series, but uh, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's a very tough place to play, and uh, for sure they got a lot of support from the fans there. Now, Maxi, I don't want to be rude with this question at all, but after nine losses to Phoenix in a row, I do have to ask, can you guys beat the Suns? I mean, we, we obviously are very confident, you know, today's an off day for us, we just got back basically, but tomorrow we're going to prepare for them, and we're going to try to do the same thing. Um, you know, we focus on what we can do, and the pass is in the pass, and I think we've shown that we can do a really good job, especially on defense. Obviously, we know that Phoenix has a lot of scoring power, too, but we have proven that we can do it, so we're going to go into those teams with a lot of confidence. Do you think Brunson can keep it going like he's been? 100%. Um, you know, JB is one of the hardest workers I, I've ever been around. You know, he does his job. He's, he's a true professional, and, you know, he shows his skill. And I think no matter what defense you throw at him, he can always do what he does right now, so um, he's going to keep rolling like that. What are some things that, that you can do tangibly, Maxi, when it comes to preparing for those late game moments, those moments in the clutch when the game's super tight? We know Phoenix is basically far and away the best team in the league in these tight games, closing out games. And, uh, and you guys have been really, really good as of late as well in those moments. How, how do you prepare for those moments specifically against a team like, like Phoenix? Um, I mean, I think for, in our case, we just have like – players like Luca, Spencer, uh, JB that just create like either really, really good shot for themselves or they get a teammate open, you know, and that I think, I think the, the, the ability to get us like good looks on offense definitely helps like in, in the crunch time and we also know that like guys like Spencer, Luca, JB, they can all make tough shots against their own defenders so, you know, that's what it comes down at the end of the game when the game slows down so it's either going to be a tough shot for them or they're going to create one for us so... Um, you know, and we, and we have definitely the, the players with the capability of that. And I think that helps in crunch that moment. We're talking with the Mavs, Maxi Kleber here on 105.3 The Fan. So, uh, Maxi, you know, Boban, your teammate, and I are, are unofficial best besties. And uh, I, <laughs> I, I wonder, everyone talks about how Boban is the best teammate. You know, what, what is it about Bobby that just keeps the mood so light and makes him just so lovable and a fan favorite to be around? I mean, he's first of all, he's a very funny guy. I think uh, everybody who knows Bobby or has some, seen some videos knows that. And he's just a great supporter. You know, no matter what his situation is like, he's always there to support his teammates. 
and cheers on. And, you know, when, when you get subbed out and you get on the bench, he's the first one to congratulate you, say, like, good job and this and that. So he's just overall a very supportive person, very positive, and, you know, obviously like a hard worker too, but I think his positive energy is just like the way he jokes around and stuff like that makes him like a really great teammate. Now, you are from Germany, of course, much like uh, Maverick legend Dirk. When you go back home, What's the, the first thing you have to go back home and indulge in? What do you miss the most? What do I miss the most? Uh, I would definitely say my family probably, so I'm going to say hello. And then uh, the next thing would be my grandma's cooking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what, what, what's the specialty uh, from grandma's cooking? What, what are you eating? Uh, so what I would eat is it's like chicken legs, uh, some gravy sauce, and then it's usually like, you know, it's not sauerkraut, but it's some kind of like cabbage. And uh, it's served with like potato balls, potato dumplings. It's kind of like bigger gnocchi. Um, I don't know. You, you don't really have it here, um, but it's for me, it's like the best food. That sounds outstanding. Is there another kid coming from Wurzburg, Germany, that we need to know about for the Mavs? Uh, I'll, I'll let you know first <laughs> if I, if I do it right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're ecstatic with the win. We can't wait to see what you guys do starting Monday in Phoenix. Give him hell, Maxi. We'll be pulling for you. I appreciate it. Thank you.